Can I just say something really quick? Alex, you look so pretty. I was just thinking that exact thing. I was about to text you off chain. Stop it. Tell me more. I mean, <laughs> it's just the thing that happens. You roll out of bed, you turn on your ring light, you get on Zoom. <laughs> Welcome to EW's Three Rounds. I'm Sydney Buxbaum and I'm here virtually with the cast of Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist to do two of my favorite things, drink and talk about all things Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. I am so sad. I'm taking the month off of drinking. Actually, 28 days. On January 29th, you better believe I will be having a cocktail. For round one, we're drinking Mogaritas, which is tequila, contro, and fresh lime juice. Well, everyone oh. show off their, yeah. their lovely first round drinks for us. I have a little Don. Amazing. <laughs> Cheers, first of all. Cheers. Cheers. You are all halfway through production on season two right now, right? So how's that going so far? Something I'm really excited about is the musical numbers, of course. Uh, I have to call out John Clarence Stewart because there are two in particular that he has done this year that I think might be my favorite we've ever shot. This is not true. This is that I have some great songs this season, no lie, but like not true, not that I have the best ones, but like I'll say, cause they've already seen episode two by this point, right? Mm -hmm. So they've already seen the tour de force that is Skylar and, and Jay in that bedroom scene, right? Come on bedroom. <laughs> also Sam Smith. I mean, Alex sings Sam Smith in episode two. Oh I yes. Not too like I with that leg them. extension. Stop it. I danced around in a moo moo, Skyler in a whole <laughs> act by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Jay was Thank like, you. look, Skyler, you bodied that shit, bro. Mary much. sings an episode Thank two, you. too. Jane's our publicist. Jane is here yes. serving as all of our individual publicists. Are you sure? Jane is our referee. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I, I <laughs> Oh, no, you're right, it is. I think it's three. three. I sang Carry On sort of with you in um, episode one. Another highlight of this year so far. How strange was it coming back to set in season two after things have changed so much since season one, like to even just off screen in the real world? We're quite literally filming a television show in a time where COVID doesn't exist, but it does literally outside of the world that we're in. You know, our show kind of has this like radical sincerity and like extreme like earnestness that I think is like people really want right now and hashtag blessed. I'm so honored. I thought when when um, I watched uh, the first episode and uh, you guys did Hello Dolly, it struck me on such a deep visceral level because it was a group of people and Brilliant Mandy, of course, I think to quiet our minds in terms of it being COVID, didn't put everybody close together. Everybody is spread apart, but it's still this like big group of people in one united positive effort. And it was so moving to me because you, mm. you know, the only big groups of people that we've seen have been either people in pain or people that are angry and to see something that was a group of people doing something so beautiful. There's an episode coming up that tackles like systemic racism in the workplace. And I think that that's going to be such an incredible thing to see. I mean, it's important always, but especially now given what's happening. And so what was that like, you know, exploring new kinds of topics and themes in this season? As we get a chance to hear people's heart songs allows us the opportunity to navigate a lot of very tender areas in, in humanity um, because we have the tool given the show and Austin's vision to get to the heart of things. If we have the courage to seek authenticity, that process has been an arduous one. I'm not gonna front, you know what I'm saying? I think it's really important to be honest about talking about certain things in a creative way, in an artistic way, when we're trying to tell the truth, there's triggers that happen with people. There's things that, that come up, um, but I'm just so grateful that we're in a community in our cast. Round two, we are drinking Mo Scow Mules, which are vodka, ginger beer, and fresh lime juice. So let's get a little glamour shot of everyone's round twos. I made the Mo Scow Mule the right way that Mo should have made it. 
What has been your favorite performances that you've gotten to do this season so far? Well, there's one in five that I'm excited about that has to do with my father. That's probably the most I could say. I, I appreciated that. And Mandy Moore in the team dance and I, you know, worked hard on that one. So I'm very proud of that. Mine will be Rise Up, even though there was so much that went into that. I mean, it was the first musical number at that juncture of the season where somebody was singing live. And so I had to be tested every single day before I sang it live. And then we got there and I never sang it live. And I was just like, baby, I was hotter than a habanero. But alas, it was still <laughs> wonderful and amazing. And it, it just meant so much to sing something very just raw and acapella in there. I had a really wonderful time doing juice and um, twerking. You were twerking for Jesus? <laughs> I twerked for Jesus. Me just coming through with all the spoilers and I'm not even drunk, but Zoe may or may not do some drugs and may or may not perform a musical number on drugs. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to process that for a second. That- I did too. I forgot that happened. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> I forgot that may or may not have happened either. <laughs> I said, wow. <laughs> you all shoot that on a Saturday or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes, correct, we did. Was it raining or not? <laughs> it was not raining, that's why we shot it on a Saturday. If you were pitching this to Austin right now, is there a song that you've been dying to sing on the show? Wop by Cardi, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no way rule that though. <laughs> I would like to see that. I want to sing It's Friday, I'm in Love by The Cure. If you ask me what kind of song, I, I would also love not to sing always sad songs. She's made a choice to, to live and Carry On was kind of about that, you know, for all of us in the family. It was like, we're going to, we're just going to keep trying to go. I would love to do a Taylor Swift song. I also like mm. Bieber and, and then... My like random lofty idea is there's a song by Fish called Waste, which is just really beautiful and poetic. And I love the lyrics and could be kind of meta the way that I like the show to be. Dave Matthews. Mm. Didn't you wow. sing a Justin Bieber song last season? I sang a uh, Jonas Brothers song. Oh, right, 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 right. Start to bleed together to me too. <laughs> I'd like to sing a Joni Mitchell song. Mm. I think mm. that would be really dope. That's just because the lyrics are so... The lyrics are perfect for so many scenarios. There's, there's a song by Buffy St. Marie that was made popular by Elvis. That's dope. Until it's time for you to go. I think that that's a fire song about love. I just love it to be on the show. Lenny Kravitz is another artist that I would like to cover at some point. Fly Away or American Woman. Um, That'd be amazing. Just really, I'd love to do some like, I just love to do like a rock number, like a really or like Prince or something like that. Yeah. For round three, we're drinking Mohattans, which are rye stirred over ice and served straight up. Everyone show off their wonderful drink. This is the booziest one of all three, so we are getting a little wild. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Crazy. Cheers. Getting a little wild. Ooh. I was, I've always wanted to ask you, Alex, if when you sing, if you feel like, do you channel something? Like, where is it? I'm serious though. Like, do you feel like, like, what do you, where, where is it coming from? Not just the sound, but like the, there's something the that I can't put into words. Like what, where is oh, it? My, my, okay, thank you. But when I was younger, my mother used to tell the story of how like someone stopped her randomly while we were in a mall and said, oh, your child's going to be a, a minister or a preacher. And she was just mm. like, whatever. <laughs> Thank you, crazy person. And then it happened once again in my adult life. And I talked to someone that I did the show with who is a minister. And just off the cuff, I was just like, yeah, people have always told me that I was going to be a minister. And he was just like, I believe that. Because what you're doing, whether you're in the pulpit or not, is you're giving a piece of yourself to make somebody believe something each mm. and every time open your mouth to sing something because when you sing it you mean it if i was singing what does the fox say <clears throat> you'll believe it <laughs> someone took the time to write this because they believed in it if i'm going to open my mouth to sing it i must do believe in it just as much as they have for me being around these people is it's like magic i've never watched music 
evolve like this. I'm also here for Maggie finding new love. I'm sorry. Yes. I've always wanted my mother after my father's death to move on and she never did. She has stayed single from that time up until now. And I want, I've always wanted that for her. Never told her that, but I've always wanted that for her. So when it comes to Maggie, I'm just like, girl, get yours. <laughs> I really experienced that storyline so deeply last season of the loss of this person. Part of it is how much I adore Peter Gallagher, but a huge part of it, of course, is that you know, I can't imagine that happening to me. So, um, so for me, like just moving on is a hard, it's a hard thought, you know, it's a hard thought. And it's like, and I think a lot of people are feeling that right now. It's like you, you want to move forward, but um, damn, a lot of people had so much loss this year of people they loved and businesses they friggin' built up that are gone and shit like that. And I, I just feel like it, it, it might take her a little while, you know, it might take her a little while because I know it would take me a long while. So <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're, but we'll you're see. Right. Maybe, maybe <laughs> he or she is out there. You know, Honey, if you say it. I believe it, and I am still supporting Maggie directly for every feeling that she has, and for you, whatever decision that you feel. My God, that hit me to my core and my soul. Thank you for that. There is a tenderness amongst this cast toward each other, and I and I've noticed I've been with a lot of casts in my life, you know. And I, I think one of the things about it, maybe maybe it's the speaking this second language of music and dance, the vulnerability that comes with that. Maybe it's because it was originally based on this idea of, of somebody losing a parent. I don't, I don't know what it was, but there is this kind of respect that's really, you feel among the people on the show. This feels like this collective pulling together to make something magical, to take people away. That feels like a beautiful note to end this on. Thank you all for joining us for EW's Three Rounds. This was amazing and I can't wait to see the rest of season two. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Dom. I miss you guys. Yeah.